Hey Jammers, Snowy Claw here from Animal Jam Spirit, and um, today I'm here in the Lost Temple of Zeos to give you some tips on winning Falling Phantoms. This is a great time to play it because it's double gems because of Animal Jam's 10 millionth player mark that they have now surpassed, so that's pretty exciting. So I thought I'd give some tips because it's one of the best gem earners in Animal Jam at the moment, I think. So let's get started. Woo! So first, before you start playing even, you should probably make sure that other windows are closed and you aren't running other programs because a lot of times older computers like mine, they get slow and it's really hard to play fast games like Falling Phantoms. It's going to be kind of slow right now because I'm running QuickTime, which is what I use to record these videos. So let's see how well it works out. So when you start the game, you want to stay towards the center because if you stay in the corner, it's more likely for you to get cornered by the phantoms. It's just they'll come in at you in the corner and you won't have anywhere to run. It'll be hard to evade them when they're at an angle even. So the center usually provides the best location. And a lot of people start panicking when phantoms going down. You want to stay as calm as possible and try not to move too much just so it doesn't get hectic. Oh darn, this is so glitchy. But anyway, when you're running away from the phantoms, it's often helpful if you run the opposite direction as them, simply because you're able to run them better. If you run away from them, or if you run if you run away from them, it's more likely they'll catch up with you because of the angle they're running at. But if you run in the opposite direction, it's easier to evade them. See how I did that? You go that way, and it's like you're running the opposite direction from them, and they're also running farther away from you. If that or flying farther away, if that makes any sense. And try not to go for the gems right away. Because often there's some phantoms that drop down on you unexpectedly, and that is never good. Oh my goodness, this is so slow. But anyway, you get the idea, kind of. Remember, the corners are never going to end up well. See? Because the phantoms keep coming, and they generally just push you over to the corner, and then you have nowhere to run to. Also, it's interesting in this game when you see bots. For example, that tiger over there, that's definitely a bot. You can tell because they have such random, wacky colors that they just, it doesn't make any sense, their outfit. And often they use eyes that aren't extremely, well, uh, popular, on that animal at least. And sometimes they have really weird colored items, like rare, weird colored rares, which normal jammers wouldn't have. And also they don't move very often. And if you end with a lot of bots, sometimes it just ends automatically and you get first place, which is really cool, admittedly, but it's also kind of confusing. So, to sum this all up, run away from the phantoms, not run the opposite direction the phantoms are falling. Don't stay in the corners. Stay towards the middle if possible. Don't race for the coins. And look around at bots. Sometimes they have fairly good placement for phantoms. And kind of follow their example, because if you don't move as much, it's easier to pay attention to what's falling above you. And you're able to avoid it easier. So don't watch your jammer, watch the phantoms. And in general, just enjoy yourself. It's just a game. Oh no! My goodness. So yeah, so close applications like QuickTime, because they're super slow. And just keep practicing. This game takes a lot of coordination, and it's just a big hullabaloo when it gets glitchy. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, everyone. And double gems. Enjoy the double gems while it lasts. And as always, happy jamming.